Good morning. I wanted to talk about joy today and just what that means to you. What does joy mean? Usually we think of things that we attach to our joy. But what I'm talking about is really the joy that resides deep within the state of your own being. The joy that you feel with a sense of well-being, the sense of rightness, not righteousness, but a rightness that exists in the alignment of the energy that you have in your own field. And the way that rightness feels, not just within you, but then around you and in your world. Today, we face so many different challenges, personally, socially, in our world. And I believe that the foundation of that rightness that we feel in ourself is how then we can effectively work with ourselves in the world. And I see that that so often today we are feeling the affliction of the fears, the doubts, the worries of what's happening around us. And I'm here today to say that working with our own energy, coming into that state of being within ourselves and really tapping into that joy allows us to let the energy freely flow through us and work in ways that we really can't imagine most of the time because they exceed what our mind can um, think of, which is pretty limiting at times. So today I was really sitting with that idea of joy and how often I feel um, when I'm in that super fulfilled energy and came back from a camping trip full of joy and allowed the reflections, the perceptions, the different ideas really sink deeply into me and integrate into my being and what I was bringing forth with Pure Esperanza. And some of you may have been on my site recently and noticed that I added a piece to Empowering Consciousness along with transforming our world. And I believe that it is in that work that we do within ourselves and how we do that, that allows us to take the steps courageously in transforming the world that we wish to see. So it is for a social transformation as well as our individual transformation that I bring Pure Esperanza to you with all kinds of thoughts and stories and feelings that I'm wishing to convey to you and wishing for that to be a source of inspiration and light out into your world and knowing that it is all one in the same we're just you know kind of recirculating that around because we all tap into it at different moments in our life and so I want, want to bring that to you today and for you to know that every day I'm thinking of the stories that can best serve you, serve the deeper wisdom within us all, and serve the transformation that we also desire to make the world a better place, not just for us, but for our children, our children's children, and the generations to come. Native American Indian teachings often refer to seven generations and looking out that far. Recently, I heard a scientist talking about environmental issues that we are dealing with. And it was really powerful because I believe he's a spiritual visionary as well. And really hearing him make that connection between him, his grandchildren, and the grandchildren uh, to come. 
So I send this wish out to you today. May you tap into your source of inspiration. May it deeply touch the joy that abides in the alignment of your very own being and that it be the fuel to bring the hope and the transformation we wish to see in our world. And it is with much love that I send this off to you today, that I hold it deeply within my own being and that I bless this day with for us all. Have a wonderful day and keep shining your light, your story, your truth. Peace.